Hey guys, welcome to my new video of software testing by MKT. As a part of this program, I'm going to show you practically how a scanner class can help human or automation engineers to take the input of my array at the runtime. This is what we are going to do as a part of this program. This question has been asked multiple times to my multiple students over the past few days or the past few months, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a class and I'm going to give the class name as array scanner input. I'm going to create my main method. After adding the main method, I'm going to create an array here of let's say data type int, right? So I'm writing int. I'm going to write numbers array is equals to new int of size, let's say three. Now here the question is how to take the input of number zero number one and number two not at the compile level but at the runtime using scanner class that's the program right i mean the interviewer don't want here you to pass the values like this so he don't want you to set the values like this 19 91 and 92 or let's say 900 whatever the interviewer don't want you to pass the values like this but he's expecting you to pass these values at the runtime let's do this okay whenever you have to do the same thing again and again that means there is a iteration step needs to be written iteration means for loop again are you thinking how many times i need to make the for loop work for three times starting with indexing zero till the indexing value two right so let me write a for loop a for loop whose initial value is going to be zero and it is going to run until my number dot length since i want to uh, do the increment so i'm doing i plus plus right now you want the number of zero you want to take the number of zero at a runtime you want to take the number of one at a runtime you want to take the number of two at a runtime so you have to write this okay after that what you have to do you have to create an object to the scanner class scanner s1 is equals to new scanner after creating an object of the scanner class you have to hover over it and import the java util after importing the java util you have to pass here the new in you have to pass here the parameter called as system dot input so those of you who don't know and watching this video for the first time we don't have any automation knowledge here system is a class and input is system input right system is basically a class here you can see it is one of the final class that we have in java right and in is one of its method which will accept the scanner class to accept the human input at a runtime okay now with the help of s1 i can make a use of its method called as next int, right so this is what uh, i'm going to do whatever the input that i'm writing i want to give that input value to my number of indexing position zero indexing position one indexing position two in java everything travels or travels from the right hand side to the left hand side so you are taking the human input at the runtime then you are giving that value to the number of zero then again you are taking the input at a runtime giving that value to number of one right i'm going to run this program just watch the magic after running this program you can see you can see my console is waiting for the inputs i'm giving the first input as 55 the next input is 85 and the last input is 90 right so what is 55 55 is the value that has been given to number of indexing position 0 85 has been given to the number of indexing position 1 90 has been given to the number of 2 okay if you want to see that so you can print that also in the form of an array you can make use of a class called arrays dot two string and uh, you can print your array here called as number i'm going to run this everything will be now clear to you just watch it so you have you have now run so we did some mistake because of which we got an exception so we got array index out of bond exception hope the for loop is written wrongly right let's check no issues so i hope you agree that equal symbol will not come right equal symbol should not come right because starting with zero till the length length is three right so you have to write lesser than so my first input is 50 my second input is 98 my third input is 85 so my array is 50 98 and 85 so using arrays class you can print your given string like arrays dot two string and whatever is your array my array is number right so i printed it this question with the help of which we are able to accept the human input at the runtime to accept my array inputs is one of the most asked famously asked interview question 
from my automation engineers or estate engineers. I hope the program was useful. In case yes, make sure that you guys are giving a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MKT and please share this video with your needy friends. If you have any kind of questions related to this video, put out all your doubts in the comment section. I will be resolving it very soon. Thank you.